Black Sabbath, a prayer. All the Sabbaths were black, for it is the vengeance of the Lord in this time. The Lord will not be mocked either in the day or in the last time. The societies hold Sabbath in their way, protests, tolerances, decrying the fate of the poor, of nations, and of gender. In that these are from the heart, they are good. But the hearts are turned sideways and away from you, neither knowing what is good nor performing good. Only God is good, and all which you do is right, the only right way. And far from the concoctions of our ethic and morality, you are an eternal absolute, and these a temporal relativity. These are without an interstice of lukewarmness, for this you abhor. We are a wayward race, and I will always, and will always go our own way against the declared will of the Lord. We have a dream for tomorrow to turn up the night and to roll the wheels of confusion. We are children of the grave, and after forever will remain so. Behind the wall of this sleep, a black moon, in a hole in the sky, singing into the void lost forever. There are Sabbath stones of memorial, and if it were not that the Lord rests, we will proceed, shaking off the choice, as though we have come to the end of the beginning. It does not require an ender to have an end. You need do nothing but forget us. Then we will be ended as though we never had been. These are the black Sabbaths that the Lord is wroth, a jealous avenger, and this not of spite, but it is the voice of your holiness. You are not against us, yet any momentary Sabbath of the Lord offered to us, not taken, is to fall off the world, off the universe, and into the blackest of Sabbaths. The earth never has had Sabbath, for we immediately dumped it to confusion, and peace was snuffed out. Adam and Eve, in their splendid physical and psychological foundation, would readily have become sexual. Yet the children were born in the east of Eden, and there all was darkness. The light spoken into being was the energy of life, even of eternal life though probationed to obedience. In this failure, we were left with only the light of life, and not that further life which is of the Spirit, made in eternity and made for eternity. In the interim of these and among the commandments of the Lord was Sabbath. Before the law was stated, for there was law from the first day, Sabbath among them. It was typified by Noah, whose name is rest. After these days, peace is continually announced to us, peace on earth, the meaning of which is salvation, which comes only with salvation. Without it, the world is a tumult, and all is darkness. Sabbaths were further darkened by Israel, who in their religious zeal formed static interpretations bringing life to a standstill, whereas Sabbath is meant only to be the hush before a great pronouncement, the Lord is come. Now there is one great Sabbath, and all darkness has fled from it. It is an eternal rest, without law, without religion, but is a life fully resting in the Father. Give us always this rest, which is life, which is salvation, which is the very life of the eternal God.